Hey guys, this review is more back to quick follow up review. This is the Hoke One One Gaviota. I believe there are threes. And this is a follow up review after about eight months of wear. So I got these in April and I've been wearing them. They've been my walking around shoes slash workout shoes. Now what I'm going to show you here is just kind of the base, basic wear and tear on the on these items. You can see here there's no blowing out, which is very nice. I got 10 and a half wide feet and about 230 pounds. So the fact there's no blowouts after eight months is pretty impressive considering I wear these every day and they're also where I work out and I use the elliptical on them. Um, what I do not do in them, I don't do jogging because of my knees and I don't tend to run on roads or do much on the road so as far as the wear on the bottom that's gonna be pretty minimal because I'm inside of a building that has like tile floors there's just no there's not much chance for wear down to happen so the bottoms look pretty good pretty pristine um, the size of the shoes are not blown out where the fabric meets the sole which is a big deal for me because that has happened with previous brands that I've had including uh, uh, Hoka One One uh, Bondi 6s I believe my first pair of Hoka's I ever had so this is not really the end of the lifespan of these shoes I'll probably keep wearing them for another few months but they're gonna be yard shoes probably by the end of eh, probably by spring they'll be yard shoes but uh, there is some damage to the back where the fabric in the heel is located and that's just because of wear and tear based on how I walk you'll notice this is the uh, right shoe and there's a there's very little damage to the back but there's a little bit of scuffing there going on but that's pretty minimal it's more or less how I walk that causes this because the left shoe has worn a outright hole into itself or sorry I've worn a hole into it and I've kind of torn the back up uh, this is where you're going to get most of your irritation later on because sometimes they have little plastic pieces back there that kind of make up the structure of the shoe and they can poke at you and that's usually this is my indicator normally that help these shoes are time to retire them but I'm going to let them ride for a little while longer because they have not lost any of their comfort or any of their plushness um, so that is why I'm going to keep working with them for the time being but uh, eventually these are going to have to go the way of the dodo but they've been great shoes for eight months of constant and consistent wear they are my everyday shoes and I also work out on them so so far they've been great uh, no normally I don't do a big follow-up review like this on most items simply because I can just kind of do it in a pinned comment but with you know shoes being the way they are people are kind of persnickety about them and this way you can kind of see the wear and tear based on someone who weighs as much as i do 230 and has big wide feet like i do so have a great day hope you like the video please hit the like and subscribe button if you found it helpful and have a great day